Hi everyone, it's Sally from the Piggy Room here with a cage update. Um, first of all, if you've been watching my other videos, you'll know that my last boy, Bandit, died um, about two months ago now, and I now have a new piggy. Um, again, if you've watched my other video, you'll know he was called Elvis when I got him, but I couldn't get used to calling him that. So I decided to call him Dougal, because it means black stranger, so it seemed very fitting. But I kept calling him Dylan by accident. I have no idea why, some strange reason. So he is now Dylan. <laughs> anyway, he's getting on really well. He's getting better with me every day. Not really shy at all now. Um, and despite being afraid of boy piggies and piggies in general, after he was very badly bitten uh, before I got him. Oops, I don't know why I'm there. I think my battery went flat. Um, and Dylan has now disappeared, so this is Piglet. Um, as I was saying about Dylan, he's getting on so well, and he seems really keen to get in with the girls. And the only way I'm going to know if he will be okay in with the girls, that he won't freak out if they bite him, um, is by getting him castrated and trying him in with them. So he's booked in a week's, in a week's time, next Wednesday, to be castrated and hopefully six weeks after that he'll be able to go in with the girls. Um, right on with the cage update. First of all um, I don't know if you remember but I had a large wooden house in Piglet's cage in this corner um, but it was getting so difficult to lift it out every day just to spot clean. I've removed that and they've now got two Heidi huts the same as the other girls which just is just so much easier to clean and they seem to like them better anyway. Oh, Dylan's coming out. <laughs> Where are you, Dylan? Oh, while well, he's talking away to the girls, wherever he is. There he is. Oh, I've scared him. Um, right, on with the cage update. Uh, as you can see in this corner, the cage has been rather badly chewed. They've been chewing the coroplast non-stop since I put them in this new cage. And there were rather large holes appearing in it. So I had to do something about it. So I bought these things called spine bars. I don't know if you can see that. Which are basically for keeping a whole pile of paper together. You just sort of just slide it onto the end of them. But they're working really well. They're, they're very tough plastic. So they can't chew through it. So I just put it all along the edge and on the front and that has stopped them chewing it where I can get it on. It's very difficult to get on. I, I don't know if I'm doing it incorrectly or, or if it is just difficult. Um, so I've only managed to get it on some parts of the cage and other bits I've had to cover with fleece uh, which seems to stop them chewing it as well. Oh there's Dylan, he's come back out. And Minnie too, wondering what on earth is going on. Um, because Dylan's cage is quite small, when I first got him I put a, a big hay box in there, the same as the girls have got. Rather like that, but just a bit smaller. But there just really wasn't enough room for it. So he's now got his hay in this thing, which is actually... Tie off my, camp, my tripod. Um, it's actually a kitchen utensil holder, but it works really well as um, a hay feeder, hay rack. Um, I used to have one in all the girls' cages, but they prefer eating the hay out of the hay box, so I removed them. But because hay, um, Dylan's cage is so small, this just seemed ideal for him, as it doesn't take up a lot of room. And I just fix it on every day with an elastic band. Oh, I don't know if I can do it like that. I don't know if you can see that. So it stays in place and it's working really well. This is it empty, so you can get a good idea of what it looks like. I think it makes an ideal hay rack. Our next change is, I've only just done this this week, but I was finding with this huge cage that it was such a lot of laundry every day, I wasn't it was just too much basically, it was taking me an hour to clean them out. So I had to do something about it. So um, upstairs they've now got a bedding. Where can I show you? Probably here is the easiest. 
they've got um comf eco comfy bed which is basically wood fiber it's rather like easy bed in fact i think it's pretty, pretty much the same thing um that is pretty cheap it's 25 kilograms for eight pounds i think so that wasn't bad at all so i've got that most of the upstairs and then covered by fleece and they just change the fleece every day so there's a lot less washing and it's also quicker than cleaning out uh, to clean them out before i had vet bed up here with newspaper underneath and every day i had to take the vet bed out and shake it and then replace the newspaper and it was taking me absolutely ages plus i had tons of laundry <laughs> dylan is happily talking away to minnie's bum he does look keen to get in with them i should be very happy when i've got him neutered I'm not looking forward to that day at all i should be in the right state all day no doubt anyway yes i've got that three to so three quarters of the cage but um minnie and poppy's cage in one section i've got fitch bedding which i really prefer i've been using that for a while in the hay boxes i've got the hay and then this stuff called flexi matting and then under that the fitch bedding and i change the hay every day but i don't have to change the bedding um, until basically six or seven days and the flexi matting is really good too um have i got a bit i can show you yep it's quite expensive to buy but it's basically flooring but it's got lots and lots of holes in it i don't know whether you can see that and the weed just goes straight through it so it keeps the hay very dry and it seems an ideal solution it's working very well especially with the fitch bedding underneath first of all i had newspaper underneath and as that's not absorbent sometimes the wee wouldn't soak through very quickly but it just keeps the hay really dry um, and so they it doesn't get too weed on or anything um so yeah so i tried that upstairs here and i i think i prefer it to the um comfy bed because there's no smell whatsoever and it's very absorbent i wonder you can see that but it's basically paper which has been wet scrunched up and then ripped apart that's what it looks like to me basically shredded paper no odor no dust um and it's really good the only downside is it's 15 pounds for 20 kilograms so almost half as expensive or twice as expensive as the comfy bed so i'll probably just keep using that in the hay boxes and um use the, the comfy bed uh, as um, bedding in the cages this is a comfy bed you can see that as i said basically just little mashed up chips of wood fiber but it's not that um hard or, or prickly to lie on it's quite soft um and but it's better i think with a bit of fleece over the top makes it a bit more comfortable for them and also putting the fleece over the top i can remove it every day and um remove the, the poos so that doesn't go into the bedding so hopefully that'll keep the bedding fresh for longer either way it's they save me about 20 minutes every morning cleaning them out now so it seems to be working really well um just another change i've bought i've bought uh, i always have a box in here for putting the hay in every morning when i'm cleaning them out but i've now got a huge box i wonder you can see how tall that is it's nearly as the height of the chair or the arms on the chair two feet or so i guess um and that's really good because i can take a bit of the dirty bedding if i can show you hold it in there and shake it and all the stuff goes in there rather than all over the floor and it didn't matter too much if it went on the floor because i have got lino but even so it saves a lot of swooping up after and me walking in it when i was treading on it so that seems to be working really well and um, that's about it really that's my pile of laundry for today it's not really big at all i mean i was doing three times that amount pretty much every day so it's reduced it a lot by using the fleece there's just small amounts of dirty fleece and these cushions which i've got under the hidey huts in the cage so i just change those every day and that seems to keep the cage liner nice and dry and then that lasts a week oh uh, what else can i show you 
Oh, uh, this is my laundry bag. I couldn't do without this. Um, all the, the piggy bedding goes in there. Not not in one go, obviously, but it all goes in there before it goes in the washing machine. And then you just zip it up and um, it keeps your washing machine free of hay, bedding, anything that's gone in there when you don't want clogging up your machine. Um, you can get those on eBay. They are, I think it was about £8. It was ages ago I bought it. But it's listed as um, for washing horse blankets. And if you do get one, get the large size, which is the orange one. And it fits nicely into the washing machine. And you can get all bits of vet, vet bed, cage liners, anything will fit in there. And it keeps the cage nice and clear of hay and what have you. Not the cage, washing machine. Anyway, that's about it. All the piggies have had their breakfast. And run around while I'm cleaning them out. And they're all now going to sleep. I think that's Poppy's nose sticking out from under there. So I can't think of anything else, so uh, thank you for watching, and bye for now.